Previously, I talked about intentional liminality, having a regular change over time and using that as a framework to put things I've learned into action and to establish clear beginnings and endings. And I wanted to share the nuts and bolts of mine. Mine's at the end of the month, so I can make sure I paid all my bills. And in addition to doing that, I also do a bunch of other things. I have a budget, so I close that out for the month and I open a new one for the next one. I review my goals and priorities for the previous month and use those to frame my upcoming ones. Right? Did something wind up at the bottom of the list? Maybe I should move it higher. It did, if something's wound up at the bottom of the list for a couple of months, maybe I should review whether it needs to be on that list at all. I set up a diary for the next month and I make note of important dates like birthdays, events, as well as a note a couple weeks before so I can do any prep I need to, right? Whether that's buying snacks for a party or making a protest sign, the advance work pays off. I follow up with people. Maybe I meant to talk to them and didn't get a chance. Maybe we started talking and got distracted. Maybe I said, hey, let's get coffee sometime. And if I don't want that to be goodbye forever, then I gotta put in the effort to make that happen. Another thing I do, I transfer all the paper notes I made in my notebook to my notebook online. I don't want orphaned notes or ideas, but I also love paper notebooks, so here we are. I also think about what habits I want to form or reinforce in the next month. Maybe it's a new challenge I want to take on, maybe it's something I'm struggling with, but I want to pay closer attention to those things. Finally, I just check in with myself. How am I doing? Am I tired? Am I energetic? What am I excited or worried about? Right, these are things that are part of being a person and they're going to help me think about myself and where I'm at so I can get a perspective on where I'm going. Now this takes very long, but I find it really helpful. It creates things I can rely on for the next month and it gives me a bit of insight into what's happening week over week so as new commitments come up, I can evaluate them better. What do you do to adapt and learn? Let me know. And don't forget, stay awesome.